Hi! For your week seven and final technology assignment, you are going to be creating a scatter plot and running a test for correlation in StatCrunch or your preferred technology. The first thing you want to do is open the data, same as you have in previous weeks. Please download the data in the Excel format from Blackboard. And once you have it downloaded to your computer, you can open it here by going to Data, Load, From File, on my computer, and then going to Browse and selecting the appropriate data set from wherever you saved it. Once selected, click Open, and then scroll to the bottom of the page and click Upload. As usual, StatCrunch will pull in all that information from the Excel file, all the data, and all of the labels indicating what that column of data represents. For this example, we are using a different data set than you are using for your assignment. In this particular example, we are going to be seeing if there is a correlation between someone's IQ score and the volume that their brain is. In other words, if you have a higher IQ, does that mean you have a bigger brain? The first thing you're supposed to do for this assignment is generate a scatter plot. A scatter plot is a graph, so to generate that, we're going to go to graph scatter plot and here you want to select the appropriate x variable and y variable the x variable should be the item that you are using to predict the other variable the y variable here we're going to see if iq can help us predict the volume of one's brain that's all you need to do here you can go ahead and scroll down put in your title Scatter plot of IQ versus brain volume, and click Compute. Once you have your scatter plot, you can look at the way the dots are formed to see if you think there is a linear correlation between these two sets of data or not. If there's a linear correlation, you should see the dots trending in a basic line shape, either going up or down. After you have your hunch from the scatter plot about whether or not these two sets of data seem to be correlated, you can then run the official test to determine if we have evidence that these two are correlated or not. To run that test, we're going to go to the stat column and select regression, simple linear. Again, we will select the appropriate X variable, which in this example is IQ, and the appropriate Y variable in this example is volume. And we want to do a hypothesis test, so we will leave the checkbox on hypothesis test under the perform section. That's all we need to do. We'll go click compute, and now we have all the information that we need to make a conclusion from this hypothesis test. Specifically, we have the correlation coefficient r right here. We have the p-value right here. And though you were not asked to find this for this assignment, in your homework and other assignments, you may need the regression equation, which is right here. That's it. That's all you need to do for your technology work for week seven.